the superstar Don't know how to meet him from afar Sent in some fan mail or wait in line Scream from the crowd, man, I think you're fine I'm in love with someone bigger than life Wanna marry him one day, be his wife Wanna be beside him and I think I belong I think I'll just stick to writing a song I'm in love, love Back to Wired for Sound. I'm Jason Wellwood, and I'm here with Franz Massini, the creator and coordinator, uh, mastermind, if you will, of music for the masses. Franz, how are you doing today? I'm doing awesome, Jay. You? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, now, Music for the Masses started, this is the fourth year for Music for the Masses. Now, we've talked about Music for the Masses quite a bit on the this show and, and the previous show, and uh, had some live music played, but it's not just about the bands this year. Definitely not. Um, there's a little something for everybody this year, and when I, what I mean by that is that you've got such a diverse group of bands and performers playing, but we've also got DJs, and it's going to be a dance party of epic proportions. We're going to have an amazing and incredible and electrifying light show, laser light show. Um, it should be something. It, it, it's definitely going to be a spectacle this year. Very cool. Now, um, music for the masses gets bigger and bigger every year, um, and uh, this year we're uh, you're, you're doing five venues, um, which is up from it was three venues last year, up to five this year. And what what venues uh, have you included this year? Um, well, last year it was uh, we had Crocs, Jacks, and the Black Pirates Pub. This year we've still got the three clubs, but we've also got Kilroy's and the Sovereign Room on board. Um, the reason for it is. I like to do things and make things different each year and with the amount of people that showed up last year we had like almost 600 people um, and also the amount of music and bands obviously that are in the city it just felt right to throw in the, f the fourth and fifth venues um, 
it's also the first time somebody was telling me the first time that anybody has done a five venue show in Thunder Bay. So in saying that, um, we can probably hopefully expect you know somewhere close to a thousand people. I'm assuming, with especially with like the different types of music that we've got, the the, the, the diversity of music, so to speak. And um, doing something like this, as you're saying, the first time anybody's done a five venue uh, show, uh, this is this must have been a, a pretty massive undertaking in terms of coordination, finding bands, finding venues, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's turning out to uh, it, the toughest part about it, Jay. It's it's. The, for the most part, like finding the bands is, is isn't that difficult because there's so many awesome bands in this city. But the toughest part about this is is coordinating it and scheduling because um, obviously you, you're aware of this. Like some musicians play in like three or four different bands in the city, and so then you know when you're scheduling something like this, um, I, it, it's it's kind of tough because you're also trying to get some of these bands that are more well known into good slots, but at the same time, you got to consider that you know if there's a member that's playing like two or three bands, then you kind of like got to shuffle things around to make things work, and that's probably going to be the toughest part about it. And one of the uh, one of the things that. Uh was touched on in uh, the first episode of uh, our two-parter here on Wired for Sound, and something that you and I have discussed previously is that um, not only are we bringing together, uh, or, or sorry, not only are you bringing together uh, bands and and DJs and this sort of thing, but you're actually bringing together different types of bands who might not necessarily um, uh, play shows together, and as well bringing these crowds together. Yeah, it's. You know what, I tend to think of music as like a unifying experience and I mean whether you're at a show with like 40,000 people, whether you're at a show with like 100 people, it's like you're in the moment and it's unity. Like everybody's there living in a moment, having a great time. Um, you've got, you know, different types, obviously people from different backgrounds coming to see with the diversity of music on this show especially. Uh, what I'm hoping for is to attract, you know, different parts of the Thunder Bay community. And I think with the lineup that we have this year, it's that's going to happen, I think. And I'm really excited about that. This is like the first year that we have such a diverse group of bands and performers. And uh, when it all comes together, I'm like, I can't wait till Friday, September the 23rd. Fantastic. Yeah, it's going to be a very, very exciting evening for sure. And where can people find out more about uh, the show and maybe uh, keep up to date about what's going on with the show? Um, right now, it's uh, you can definitely hit up to www.tbshows.com. We're going to have, obviously, something on the LU Radio page, on the main page at www.luradio.ca. Um, we have an event page on Facebook. Uh, you can just type hidden music for the masses for and it should pop up and there's going to be obviously a wired for sound episode actually two episodes um yeah so far that's what we have what we have up right now it's uh, pro the word's probably going to spread a lot a lot more and go viral as, as the date approaches so Excellent. Well, Franz, thank you very much for uh, spending some time with us and uh, thank you very much for putting together music for the masses. Dude, it's always a pleasure for LU Radio. For Wired for Sound, I'm Jason Wellwood. Stick around. Thank you for watching another episode of Wired for Sound. This has been part two of two of Music for the Masses. Which is taking place Friday, September 23rd at five different venues, including this one, Crocs. We want to say a special thank you to Hin and everybody at Crocs for letting us shoot here today. Big time. They've been more than generous because uh, they're not even open today. They let us come in and... Uh, Take uh, over. Yeah, we pretty much took over. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, awesome. So if uh, you want to be a part of Wired for Sound, email us, cable10 at shaw.ca, and I'm pretty sure we'd like to have you. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah. As long as Jason's in a good mood. Maybe. Perhaps. Doesn't happen often. Anyway, for Wired for Sound, I'm Jason Wellwood. And I'm Sarah MacArthur. Thanks for watching.